Hi, it's Keith Allred. If you wake up in the night and you've had a bad dream and it's something that is from your past and it's haunting you, I have a solution. I have a solution to help you overcome bad dreams. To help people... Actually, it's possible to actually program your mind to dream what you want it to dream. And so I have the solution to help people clear their mind, sleep really well at night, wake up refreshed with a whole full night's sleep. So if you're having uh, recurring dreams that aren't healthy for your brain, for your spirit, for your emotional state, or uh, just just weird dreams in general. If you're not in control of your dreams, I have a solution for you. Uh, the solution is quite exciting. It's quite fun. It builds upon other cool things that that are amazing, such as if you have a hard time remembering people's names. I have a solution for you. It's the same solution. Uh, if you have a hard time getting things done during the day, um, you're not motivated to to clean your house or to go to work or to do whatever it is you've got to do, then I have a solution for you. And if you're not thoroughly enjoying life, um, yeah, the same solution will help you. If you're thoroughly enjoying life, you will have great dreams. In fact, if you've, if you've got a situation where, as a child, you wanted to be something or do something, and that dream is still left unfulfilled, and it may be because you feel like you have bad health and you can't do it, or it may be because you feel like you don't have enough resources or money and you can't do it, or maybe it might be because you feel like the time for that has passed. Um, that I can't solve, but the other things, I can help you with that. Um, I've been able to reverse health issues that I would have... Uh, I was 7% disabled, so <clears throat> I was able to reverse that 7% disabled disability using the principles that I'm going to teach you. My eyesight was bad. I used to have to wear glasses. I've been able to reverse that and now I don't have to wear glasses. I had really bad knees and really bad feet. I had to wear orthotics in my shoes. I've been able to reverse that and the knees, I've been able to get healthy knees again. So what I'm suggesting to you is is, is amazingly cool. My life, my entire world around me has changed because of the things that I want to teach you right now. I want to teach you how to have peace and joy in your life. If you've ever wanted excellent relationships, I mean amazing relationships, where you, it's okay to disagree but there's no quarreling and fighting. There's no no putting each other down. And, and I say that with all of my heart. If you can imagine um, knowing that your wife or your spouse or your child is not going to intentionally cut you or put you down. That is truly amazing. There is nothing more confident building than that. It's truly possible. And I know that in my life when I was cutting other people down or when I felt cut down all the time by people at work, by people on my in my neighborhood, by my own children, by my wife, when I felt that, it was painful. Life was painful. Other things seemed to drive me, uh, such as I was embarrassed a lot. I was worried about what other people thought of me. I had a lot of 
a lot of um, insecurities and and pain and 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 issues of my past that seem to haunt me. If you've got any of those types of issues, I have a solution for you. And now, and it's, I'm talking, it's possible to change your life from wherever you are now. Uh, in my past, I wanted a divorce from my wife. I wanted my children, I demanded my children that they respect me more. And... Um, work with me and it was just really tr troublesome to me why they couldn't spend an hour of their their day once a week to work with me yet they hated it it was like pulling nails to get them to be with their own father um, I was you know what I would consider a normal father I would was I I was what I would consider a good father one who wanted to provide for his children but yet had a lack of respect in the home. If you want respect in your home, the solution is for you. And you might think, oh, this is too good to be true. And all I'm offering, all I'm offering is joy and happiness in this life right now. Peace in this life. Power over your body in this life. Power over your eating Power over your exercising. Power over your time. Power over anything like that that most people are addicted to. That I'm offering you power over those addictions. Um, like when you're addicted to anything that steals your time. That's, that's something that you can change. Um, when you're addicted to something like that you're eating or something that you want to uh, do that you know that's not healthy for you, I have so this solution will help with that. Um, it's an amazing solution and I'm not overselling it. There are many, many people who have done this and there are many, many people who want the solutions that I'm offering but don't know where to get the answers and um, I wanted the answers I wanted the answers so bad that if I couldn't change who I was or who I was becoming or where I was going if I could not change that I felt like my life was not worth living I knew that my life was wrong I knew that something was wrong and I needed to change it I, I actually wanted to to kill myself because I wasn't and it wasn't working for me whatever it was it just wasn't working for me my relationships weren't working for me and my children's respect for me wasn't working for me all of those things weren't working for me I started to listen to people and listen to their advice and the advice that I am giving you they gave to me, plus a lot more. There's some of the things that I have learned that you can only learn through inspiration. And I will probably not be the one who teaches it to you. It will probably be through inspiration, but you've got to get to the position where you can receive the direct inspiration directly to your mind, to your heart, to your soul. If you want to get to that position, then this message is for you. Because I was in a place where it wasn't happening for me. I was in a place where I felt like I was good and life was good. But yet, I was frustrated all, not all the time, a lot of the time. And, and my financial situation... I had to really watch it and really be in control of it. There's a huge difference between controlling your finances and managing your finances. And life opens up for you when you manage your finances, manage your resources, manage your thoughts, manage your body, 
manage your emotions. And you're thinking, whoa, that's a new one. What do you mean manage my emotions? I'm saying, yes, if you are not 100% in control of your thoughts, of your feelings, of your actions, this message is for you. And, and don't let me stop there. If you're not 100% in control of your results, this message is for you. And you might be saying, no, other people are in control of my results. I can't get a better job because my boss won't give me a better job. Or I can't get better pay because my spouse holds me back. Or my children are holding me back. Or there's situations in my life that are holding me back. My body's holding me back. If anything's holding you back, this message is for you. Because all of those excuses are actually lies. They're actually barriers. And it's not necessarily true. Those things may not be holding you back. You may be holding yourself back. I did not see this. I did not believe this until I began to actually practice the things that I'm about to teach you and actually do the things that I'm about to teach you. And the whole purpose of this moment right now the whole purpose of this is to help you decide that you're in. Because until you commit, until you're 100% committed to what you want, until you can rekindle those dreams that you had when you were a child, those dreams that you had when you were in your youth, thinking, I want to do this someday, I want to be this someday, until you rekindle that, you won't have the stamina, the drive in order to work through the pain and the suffering that you've caused yourself in order to become the better person, the, in a better place, with better results. If you're not 100% committed, then all of this talk that I'm talking about, and all of this work that I'm working would be in vain for you. Not for me. I've already worked through it. I'm still working through a lot of cool obstacles. And I say cool obstacles. I'm still working through a lot of pain. Cool pain that I am so grateful for. And you, you're probably thinking, why would he be grateful for pain? Why would he be grateful for obstacles? You might be so foreign to what I'm about to suggest, that it just doesn't, your mind just cannot comprehend it. But I'm telling you that it is real. Life, the challenge of life, is so engaging, so amazing, so enthralling, so encompassing, and so full of joy, that the very experience, Experience of overcoming some of these trials that you think are impossible, the very experience of overcoming them just, just thrills you to death, just thrills you to life. That is what I'm talking about. But the first thing you've got to do is have a desire, have a hope. Have some, some passion of joy to overcome that. That's the first thing you got to do. And you got to grab a hold of it in your heart. You got to grab a hold of that vision and that dream in your heart. And it's got to be so powerful that you will give whatever you've got to give to overcome it. That's what I'm talking about. And until you can kindle that in your heart and in your mind and in your soul, it's not going to happen for you. I'm sorry. You've got to build a desire. You've got to build the hope. You've got to kindle the dream. Until you can just want it so bad. All of this talk that I'm talking about isn't going to happen for you. I'm sorry. You've got to believe. It's called faith. 
It's called hope. It's called desire. It's called getting through your pain to the other side to where there is no more pain because you've accomplished the task. You've seen it through. You've become the dream. That's what it is. It's becoming who you choose to become. It's being in control of your life. 100% control of your life. Not allowing addictions to control your life. Not allowing other people to control your life. Not allowing circumstances to control your life. It's you. You've got to be 100% control of your mind, of your heart, of your body, of your results in your life. And until you can get to that point, life still will leave you wanting. You will still be aching for something. That is what this message will do for you. That is what the, the action steps that I have for you will do for you. I had to be taken from my thinking and it had to be changed from the way I was thinking to the way I believe now. And the way I believe now is so empowering, so joyful. I can't express to you how much, way cool it is to get up in the morning and to have no pain when I walk around, to have no quarreling and fighting in my life, no bad feelings with my family, with my wife, with my children with my neighbors, with my co-workers. To have no inhibitions. Actually, I need to back up. I still have some inhibitions. I'm working on those. But to be so full of confidence that you know you're going the right direction even when it's, it doesn't make sense up here. But you just know in your heart that you are going in the right direction. Sometimes you have to follow your heart. You have to follow your dreams. And then you have true joy and happiness come into your life. You know that you are at one with your creator. And that you have power given to you from the creator. When you get to that point, point then you know you're heading in the right direction. And you may be even thinking, I don't even know if there is a creator or if I even have a higher power. If you're not to that point, that's why at the very beginning, you have to start out with baby steps. You have to start out small. And I will take you through the whole process of working the small things. Because it's by the small little things that great things happen. Great things come to pass. Absolutely. And this journey, anyone can do. I don't care where you are. If you feel like you're on the bottom of the world. Anyone can do this journey. Anyone can make these changes. Anyone at all. And why do I say this? is because it happened for me. I was on the bottom of the world. I felt like the only way out was dying. The only way out was was ending this whole miserable experience. <clears throat> now that's so far remote from me. I only have memories of that experience. My relationships were so angry and frustrated, I felt like I would never have another special moment with my wife. All we had to do is just tolerate each other, just because we had to. That's what I felt. It's all a lie. It, it isn't true. Things can change, no matter where you're at. Things can change. Things will change. For example, here's here's... And I could go on and on for hours, so at some point I have to stop this video, but just an example. 
if you want to be in heaven and you want life right now to be like heaven, which it is for me, it's just so heavenly. But if you want that and, and you plan on being in heaven after this life is over, I'm going to have to stop this video and I'm going to tell you about this whole experience later because you can just, just know that you can make this life a piece of heaven. And when you run into somebody, it will be heaven for you. Even if they've offended you, even if they're the worst person in the world for you, you hate them that bad. If they are in heaven and you're in heaven and you run into each other and you have hard feelings, that can't happen. That's not heaven anymore. You've got to get in a position in your heart, in your mind and in your heart where you will feel heaven now. And then you'll be ready for heaven when you pass on. Absolutely. That's the way it works. That's the way it is. Ask anybody who knows. Anybody who you think has the perfect life. Say, hey, can you feel joy in this life now? And if they can say yes, then all of these things that I am teaching you and telling you, they will, they will verify. This is the path. This is the way to finding true joy and peace and happiness in this life. So, um, my name is Keith Arlen Allred. I'm a personal life coach, a mentor, a trainer. I've been to the depths. I've climbed back out. I know the way. And I want to teach you the steps. Teach you the methods. Teach you the way. Because it is so worth it. And it is doable. It is doable. So click on the next video. Start with the little things. And move through every single step. If you miss one, you might be slowed down. And I don't want you to be slowed down. I want you to be all the way through. And if some of the videos don't make sense or they're boring or whatever, just put it on the bottom of the thing saying this is just not for me or whatever and tell me why and I'll change it because I want to be able to communicate better to, to anybody who really wants more in this life or wants something out of this life, whether it be money, health, finances, better relationships in their social experience, or better control over their mind. Anything is possible. And will be possible. It must be possible. Thank you.